What's going on everyone, it's Voss, and I'm here with Tails. And today I'm gonna give you my monthly cryptocurrency update in August 2018. But first, let's talk about where we came from. What did the farm look like a year ago? This garage is where it all started, but you wouldn't know it by the looks of it because we just recently remodeled it all to make it finally look nice. And me being a car guy, garage is kind of like your temple here. And I used to sleep in a hallway because I had my mining rigs in the bedroom where I should have been, but it, that was a room better situated for them. And then I tried to have them uh, set up here in the garage, but the only way to really get intake and exhaust would be to use the concrete foundation wall or to mess over here with the front of the house and neither of those were good options so I had to go with the route of a mining shed. We basically dug to China with how much we had to dig to get a suitable area for it and then we got that deployed last July and August is when I really started to get that up and running. I ordered a ton of parts and I built out 20 uh, initially and then I ended up building two more trio mining rigs which is a 1080 ti 1080 ti and a 1070 mini trio direct injecto right there on the board riserless got about 20 rigs if you round up it's crazy i can't believe i've gotten this far so fast i really wanted to showcase the riserless design which is actually really taken off with you know things like the octo miner which are built all around having those eight cards on a riserless board so maybe we were ahead of the times maybe we didn't know what we were doing but either way that's what i had going on took out a bunch of money on debt and gambled it all on cryptocurrency mining because of gpu mining it's something i really believed in i sold off all my stuff and i turned around and i reinvested everything into more hardware i don't hold a lot of crypto right now because i'm I'm building a mining setup and I, the sooner you get a miner running the sooner it's going to profit i'm pulling about 30,000 souls 30,000 hash and equi hash that's yielding me about a conservative number one z cash every other day but times have changed some so let's talk about where we're at now and what's the future of cryptocurrency looking like it's just crazy to hear myself say that i was mining one z cash every other day with a 30k soul farm. Try to do that today because it's not happening. And to make things even worse, Zcash is worth less than it was a year ago. <sighs> Times have changed and with that, my outlook has changed. And as always with anything, you have to constantly evolve and adapt. In comparison to my old Trio mining farm, I've got about 50 GPUs right now. And at the peak of my mining farm, not last August, but late several months later, I reached about 120 graphics cards, which is pretty insane. And at that point I was, I was really, you know, I had rigs inside the house and in the shed. I was, you know, scrounging up every piece of electric I had. And I kind of just take a step back. I'm like, I need to, I need to settle down. I need to slow this down a little bit. This is a little bit beyond my capability of doing everything I want to do and also maintaining this farm and really just even having the capability to run all of those. In addition to the way the market was starting to turn, I was worried that there was going to be the downturn that we're in now and thus I wanted to hedge some of my farm because you know like any other investment you don't want to be overextended and while I never sold out my farm I still maintain some rigs it's not nearly as big as it used to be and you know that's the advice I would offer to everyone else as well don't don't be overextended don't be making crazy moves on credit you know, you don't want to get stuck in debt. Now is not the time for that, in my opinion. Regardless, I'm still hashing away. I'm still chasing the top coins and not just, you know, day-to-day -day profitability, but also the coins with promise. You saw my recent video about how to vary in depth, how to mine Aeon, because I'd say that is the most difficult coin to mine that we've ever covered on the channel. And thus, the rewards kind of warranted it. As well as I'm still mining some Loki. The price drop has been crushing to me. I've lost a ton of time and money on that stuff but i'm hopeful that it'll go back up and i still believe in the project i still think it's a cool project it's just really disappointing to see how far it's fallen and then my goal for just a little bit more of short-term cash short-term gains is uh mining ethereum classic with the impending addition to coinbase i think that that's a really safe bet of mining a coin that will go up and its profitability is on par just a little bit better a little bit worse than mining ethereum which has lately been the top coin to mine thus you can't really go wrong day to day you're going to be earning more or less the most 
and it's a safe bet and you can cash out whenever it does pump and it's added to Coinbase or right before. Time will tell what happens with Ethereum Classic, but in the short term, I think we're going to only go up and I can't imagine it could go down too far in comparison. Again, a safe bet, we can make some good cash, hopefully. I just wanna give you guys one example right now and it's just one. It's not an end all be all, but just something I want everyone watching this video to think about if you're into cryptocurrency and especially if you're into cryptocurrency mining. Last summer, in May, I pre-ordered an Antminer L3 Plus for like 1400 bucks, I believe. After like shipping customs and a power supply, you're looking at like $1,600, right? And when I got it, it was mining like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 or something Litecoin a day, I believe, which had earned something like 15, 20 bucks a day, right? Well, now today on eBay, there are Antminer L3 Plus selling for like hundred and fifty dollars and it's not just one that's I mean if you want to sell yours today you're probably gonna have to list it at that price and it makes like 25 cents a day or something it's, it's crazy how much these things don't make anymore and that's the game of ASIC mining I sold mine then because I wanted to focus more on GPU mining and I sold it at the going rate of the current market which was about four thousand five hundred dollars so I bought it made three times the money just for selling it because Bitmain used to not pump out a ridiculous amount of units. It was a mad dash to order their miners. Now you can order as many as you want pretty much whenever you want. That's because they're essentially cashing out of their miners as far as I'm concerned, coupled with just the, the demand which has fallen immensely, right? So you got that example. Uh, you know, basically a year ago today, uh, you could sell for 4,500, take the original value of say $1,500, and it still reduces down to about 150 bucks just to kind of keep round numbers there. In comparison, last summer I was buying 1080 Ti's for about $650 to $710. Even with the dramatic drop in GPU prices recently, a 1080 Ti will still sell for over $500 all day on eBay. I understand fees and all that stuff, but that is an incredibly much lower depreciation in your hardware value as opposed to the ASIC miner because an ASIC application specific integrated circuit is a purpose built machine that is good for one thing and one thing only and that's mining that single algorithm. GPUs have a ton of purpose aside from just all the versatility that they maintain in cryptocurrency mining they're also useful for obviously gaming and many other intensive tasks. What does your L3 Plus do? It heats your room now. I'm not here to say GPU mining is dead. I'm not here to say mining is dead, but is mining dying? Is the bear market showing us that if everything remains stable, mining will no longer be profitable? But how can that be the case when there will be transaction fees awarded to, just example, Bitcoin miners for the end of time? So as long as you have that miner in and Bitcoin is still being used, you will earn money even when the supply of mined Bitcoin runs out. So when you're, there's no longer a block reward and you're just getting the earnings for the you know combined transaction fees, then there will still be profits to be made. However, is mining being professionalized? Is mining dying for the average person, the average home miner? Is, my, is mining dying for them? Hey, how you doing? This is my little mining garden. I don't actually have a farm, so I call mine a garden. I have a three card rig right here and then a four card rig right behind my right shoulder. Are you going to be bled out by your electric cost uh, you know, against these farms that pay three cents per kilowatt of electric when your average home electric is like 12 cents per kilowatt hour? Personally, I pay 10 and a half cents per kilowatt hour. And while I have a good electric rate, it's not amazing. And eventually, if things continue at this rate, I will also be bled out. And you can only mine at a loss for so long before, you, you know, how much will that coin have to increase in value for you to make your money back, for you to have earnings, for it all to be worthwhile, for to, to be dealing with these mining rigs and the maintenance. If any point in the future it makes sense to mine, then previously it would have also made sense to mine. So if in you know if prices go up in 60 days and you have the same mining rig making 20 bucks a day again, right? If that happens, then in retrospect, theoretically, you should at least be making 20 bucks a day. However, you know, the, the normal, you used to be able to assume that difficulty would only increase. 
So you would like to assume that previously there was a lower difficulty, so there are less people vying for the same amount of reward. So in retrospect, you would have been making more, 25, 30, 35 dollars a day. And in, you know, if you ha if you had the ability to hold on to all those coins, you would make a killing. So it's back to the point where you know you can mine as a part-time job, a side project, a very consuming you know project, but also maintain a full-time job to pay your or electric bill. So you're not it's not cutting into your crypto. Because if you're selling when prices are low, it's only going to hurt you when this stuff goes back up. It's a big cycle. I'm not a professional investor. I'm just a Doge dad. But I would imagine that prices will go up. And we are in. We do have a big bull run in store. And right now, it's just kind of like weathering the storm. I'd be cautious on expanding your mining operations right now. I would be cautious, but potentially looking into buying cryptocurrency if you're holding fiat or the coins are still low. There's the, the altcoins alternative cryptocurrency is basically everything but bitcoin their prices have been getting slaughtered and with that you'd like to think that there's even more room for gain if you're able to buy in at this low time or you're a hodler like me and you're just hoping things go back up one day personally i'm not really interested in this asic mining cycle of you buy the hardware you, you barely make your money back and you have to buy the new hardware to be competitive again and then bitmain will rip you off you know jack the prices up then lower them for the next batch and then they send you a coupon code like hey sorry dude here's a couple hundred more dollars to take off our overpriced thing on our website like thanks bitman like thanks dude you, you're really looking out for me man you're really gonna keep me in the cycle just because i want to mine some dogecoin you want to mine some dogecoin so what are some of the alternatives well all of these players that are negatively impacting mining and proof of work are paving the way for proof of stake coins to come in here and try to you know show that they're useful and make their case for example ethereum's plan and why they don't really care about forking not only are they a bit out of touch but i don't they just don't care it's, they they don't believe in proof of work to the capacity that it cannot be replaced with a green alternative and that, that doesn't mean less energy consumption that means you know basically none in comparison aka there will be no mining it'll be these nodes and in that setup i think it's very hard to see a place where the rich don't just get richer and you have a, a good entryway for newcomers kind of on that same topic is why i've been researching masternode so heavily the past couple months and if you saw my recent video on how to set up a zencash super node which if you're thinking about that it's actually way more profitable to set up a zencash secure node currently so if you've got the zen for one or the other definitely go towards the secure node i'm not saying that just because i have some super notes i'm going to talk about that in my secure node tutorial which i'll have coming out you know maybe in a week or so but either way nodes are looking like a better alternative i've got none of the hassle of mining rigs that's being dominated by bitmain and all these asic players just completely taking the fun and opportunity out of it and you know i could sit back have a virtual server and make some you know passive income if that's the way it goes and unfortunately that's that's all that's left I, I like nodes, I think they're interesting, and I think when they're utilized, like how Zencash is planning to do so, as well as the Loki service nodes are coming up, just for a couple examples of projects I'm involved with, I think they've got a great use case. So as always, I'm gonna spend all day, every day, researching this stuff and bringing you all the best content that I can. If you enjoy it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up on the video, that, those, those are huge for me and keep me going and keep me here every day doing the best I can for you all. So again, thanks for watching. I, I got Tails right here and we're going to go on a walk. So uh, I'll see you all next time. Tails, do you want a treat? Do you want to get paid? Do you want a treat? Let's go get paid. Let's go get paid. <laughs>